This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2002 Ford F-350 crew cab, long bed, dual rear wheel. It's a 7.3 uh, turbo diesel. It's two wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. It's uh, got four wheel ABS, sliding rear window, power locks, power steering, CD player, bed liner, alloy wheels. Uh, it's an automatic. Air conditioning, power windows, cruise control, tilt, dual airbags, tow package, and dual rear wheels. This truck has 235,614 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Dallas, Texas. Um, there will be four pictures in the, uh, in the ad of it before it left. It basically looks exactly like this, except you'll notice on the, uh, on the rear windows, there will be some stickers that say, I think it's like M&T or something, transportation company. This clearly was towing a, like a two or three car hauler was what it was towing. And for that reason, when we did our inspection, we realized that it was a race car without a trailer behind it because it had high performance injectors. It was ridiculous. You could hardly drive it without a 10,000 pounds behind it. So we took those injectors out, bought eight remand in injectors, regular injectors, put them in. Now you can drive it without a, tra without a trailer behind it. Um, batteries are new, alternators new, serviced uh, the rear differential, carrier bearing is new, drag link, and fuel filter. All right, so that's what happened. It's a really good running truck. Uh, the blow-by situation I'll show you in a minute. It's got, for a, over 200,000 miles, 7.3. It's a uh, low to moderate blow-by. It's actually, in my opinion, it's pretty good. Um, whoever owned this truck liked it enough to buy brand new tires for it right before it was uh, stolen. Uh, we did not buy these tires. So another indication that it's a good truck when somebody spends somewhere around a thousand dollars on tires right before it gets stolen. Um, I'm gonna point at stuff that you might want to, uh, when, with the photo gallery, there's a little uh, magnifying glass device. Uh, if you look at the stuff I point at, uh, it might help you uh, with the cosmetics on the truck. Um, we would like you to all uh, look at all the pictures and click on everything. Uh, so that you know what you're buying and that there's no surprises. But I will try to, in the video, point to the stuff that catches my eye that stands out. Um, right there. Um, just so that you know where to look. It's a big truck and you may not want to zoom in on everything, on every, every part of it. Um, so, I kind of do this with the video just so that... We have video and pictures of the undercarriage for you to look at. Um, I'll also get to the uh, Kelly Blue Book. I'll get to the Carfax. I'll show you the title that we got from Geico and the title that we now have in our name. Um, that title will also be in the ad. Brand new tires. That's always a nice thing not to have, buy, have to buy tires when they get here. Here's your gooseneck, nice bed liner, got the louver tailgate, it's actually pretty straight. The only real dents I see are on that driver rear door, which I'll show you here shortly. Let's see, where are they? Right here, little one right here, and here. show you the Kelly. Let's get the key out of there. All right, Kelly Blue Book. Long bed, 235,000 miles. Suggested price is $13,995. There's the uh, equipment here that it was booked with. There you go. Carfax, reported stolen, blah, blah, blah. Carfax has you plug in the Kelly Blue Book. That's for a good Carfax. They add a little bit, and then they come up with their price of fourteen four one five, is what Carfax would say would be a suggested retail price. It was stolen on. 
February 8th of 2012, and claim paid on the, uh, September 10th of 2014, which is when they went and got the title for it. Um, so, anyway, that's that. Let's see what else we got. We have the Geico title. There's the title. There's the clear Texas title. Geico, that's what they gave to us. And now we have in our name, Wheel Kinetics, this title that was issued 322 of 2016. We had to wait a while for those injectors to show up. That was kind of weird. Usually it's pretty easy to get those. But, uh, took us a while. Wait, I'm going to go into the hood. 235,631 is the current, uh, current, uh, Odometer. I'm going to go into the hood. I'm going to show you the blow by. All 7.3s have them. If you look at all of our 7.3s and videos, they all have them. Some of them have them terribly, some of them don't. This one's kind of low, low to moderate. That's not, that's not bad. There's one on our property that you can't see through. <laughs> that one may become our tow truck. All right, let's see. There's a Ford stamp there. New battery here. Ford stamp here, stickers where they belong. This all indicates that nothing's been replaced up front. Sticker where it belongs should be another Ford stamp right there, and there is, and should be one right there. After market air box, everything looks excellent under, under the hood. Perfect. You even see the tools for the spare, which by the way, there is no spare. I, I, when we were doing the under carriage video, I saw that. We try to make sure that all the information that we have, you have. We don't, uh, we don't need to sell this truck. It will sell itself. The, the key is getting it to the right person, person who understands what they're buying, who understands diesel, who understands they're not buying a new truck, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's the windows, door locks. Thanks. And I got a little mess going here. We've got like tons of wind right now. It's ridiculous. So I'm doing this with uh, earbuds in, or also all you'd hear is the wind noise. Manual, really, really clean interior in this truck. It's actually a really pretty truck inside and out. New tires, new injectors, oil change. It's a lot of truck here. There's your driver rear window. I don't think anyone's ever been in the back seat. That's great. All right, there's your, let's see. Let's see, there's the driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window, door locks, door locks there, mirrors, out, in, up, down, other side, out, in, up, down, perfect. Seat, God, the seat bolster's in great shape. Usually there's a little breakdown right here. It's just a tiny bit of foam kind of pushing in, but the seat's in great shape. I won't say what size the person was who owned this, but he wasn't fat. Because the fatties tear up the seats, the bolsters. Is that not PC? Well, whatever. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna get PC and you're not gonna get a whole lot of selling going on here. You're just gonna get the real deal. All right, let's see. Overdrive, on and off. See the off, on, there you go. Radio. 80 power, they provided award winning. Bring them to the- Radio works fine, let's turn on the air. That feels good. It's nice and warm right now in Tucson. Summer's already begun. Boom, boom. Let me leave it there. It's a little warm. All right, let's go for a ride. This truck is on a clear title, so if you come here to pick it up, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Taxes are 2% uh, city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is, and then add a $250 dock fee. Okay? So basically, very simple math. 
your state tax rate plus our 2% city tax plus a $250 dock fee if you're going to drive it home. If you're going to uh, pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Nothing else. Uh, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We'll sign it off. We'll notarize it. We'll scan it into your online file so you'll see it immediately. Um, then we'll mail it. We even scan in the uh, envelope that we mail it in. And you'll have your own online file with all everything that we have paperwork-wise will be in your file. Um, pretty cool. Um, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, we have a deal. We will put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. So please get your deposit. It's a, it's a really clean, real straight, very high rubber tire uh, 7.3. Uh, and it runs fantastic. Air's blowing cold. This is a nice truck. Um, so everyone's going to see this thing. It's probably going to go within a day or two. If you are going to go through all the pictures and the video and do your research, ask friends if you don't know about 7.3s. Uh, if you're going to go through all that, please be ready to make your deposit. We don't want you to be one of those people that uh, goes through the whole you know, deposit ordeal or the whole ordeal of going through the negotiating and then doesn't get the truck because they're too slow with their deposit, okay? This thing's really smooth. The tranny runs great. What a perfect shift. Okay, well, this is a 35, and I'm doing 60. It's only a matter of time, right? Before I get that ticket. It's a miracle I have it. Um, let's see. Warranty speech. It's a 235,000-mile, uh, what is it, 14-year-old truck. There's no warranty. Ford gave it up on it well over a decade ago and many miles ago. If they could have given it a 25-year, 500,000-mile warranty, they would have, and they would have sold them for three times as much as they did, and they would have sold them all the same day. Okay, They didn't know what would happen after a certain number of miles or years, and they stopped the warranty at that point. Okay, uh, We don't know more than the people who built it. We know these things really well, really well, but uh, we don't know what's going to happen to it tomorrow. If we did, you know, we would never buy bad vehicles. We'd only buy good ones, and trust me, we bought bad vehicles. They just don't make it online. <laughs> so, so there's some risk involved. Uh, we hopefully we have taken 92% of the risk out of it uh, with our maintenance and our checkups and all the everything that we've done. But it doesn't mean the day you get it, something's not going to break. And it could be little and it could be big. And if it's little, fix it yourself. And if it's big, fix it yourself. You're the owner. Okay. Um, we just want big girls and big boys in our in buying our vehicles. Uh, that's why I don't sit here and tell you how great they are. I just give you the information, okay? Um, and that way the right person will end up in the car. And it always works that way, which is a beautiful thing for us and you. Um, like I said, if you don't know anything about diesel, please ask somebody. If you, if you don't know anybody, don't buy, okay? Don't buy diesel, period, new or used. Diesel's a different breed, okay? Um, do your research. Know what you're buying, uh, you know? Even consider things like, you know, if this breaks or that breaks, how much does it cost to fix it? That type of thing. That's what you should do with every vehicle in our inventory, anything you buy, whether it's in our inventory or not. That's what you should do, okay? Um, but just know we're not writing you checks if something breaks. If it comes to you on the shipping truck and something and it's broken, go get it fixed, okay? Um, that's all we can tell you, all right? We uh, price these things so that they're cheap enough to uh, sell quickly and cheap enough to where you buy them and you can actually afford to justify repairs um, in your budget, okay? And that's what we do. So anyway, we just want the right person the right car. This thing runs great. I like it a lot. This thing, I would have no problem hooking a you know, 26-foot bay liner up to it and towing it uh, up to Globe uh, through a 5,000-foot mountain pass, which I've done many times with the wrong truck. This would be the right truck to do that with. Anyway, thank you for your time.